In order to explain, analyze, and synthesize, chemists have developed a set of tools that support their goals. One of these tools is stoichiometry, the counting system of chemistry. Stoichiometry is important in this case study, since it provides a language we can use to answer questions such as, how much arsenic is in the water? Or, how much arsenic can this filter absorb from the water? And, will it then be safe to drink? In this course module, we'll arrange the tools of stoichiometry into five general categories. Dimensional analysis, allowing us to convert between various units, such as grams and micrograms. Molecular weight, allowing us to convert between the mass of a substance in grams and the number of molecules of that substance in moles. Solution concentration, allowing us to express the amount of substance in a solution, for instance, the amount of arsenic in a glass of drinking water. Composition stoichiometry, allowing us to determine how much arsenic is present in a mineral such as arsenic sulfite. Reaction stoichiometry, allowing us to determine how much arsenic will be absorbed or released in a chemical transformation such as in a filtering agent. Many of the examples in this course module are set in the story about arsenic in the groundwater of Bangladesh. This will allow you to use the stoichiometry tool set in the same way used by practicing chemists as they strive to rid the world of a serious health issue the arsenic poisoning of millions of people in Bangladesh and elsewhere.